This video will teach you how to use Visual Slope to design a TBM tunnel lining. If you like this video you can download Visual Slope at www.visualslope.com. We will use this as an example, the TBM tunnel is about 7 meters in diameter and 30 meters below surface. The ground is assumed to be uniform for simplification. But you can use as many layers of soil as you want. The ground conditions are follows. Soil type is soft rock, density is 23, elastic modulus is 4.8 to the 6, Poisson's ratio is 0.28. The load conditions are. The vertical pressure is 1.5 B gamma, which equals 260 kPa, grouting pressure is 200, water pressure is 400, load combination 1 include grouting pressure only, load combination 2 including vertical pressure but no horizontal pressure. Load combinations 3 including half of water pressure, whole vertical pressure and horizontal pressure equals half of the vertical pressure. Load combination 4 including whole water pressure, whole vertical pressure and half horizontal pressure. The TBM tunnel lining consists of six segments. Get key segments is 25.5 degree, other segments are 67.5 degree. The thickness of the segment is 35 centimeters. The lens in the longitudinal direction is 1.3 meters. The table shows the design data for the segment including concrete strength. Poisson's ratio. Area. EI, EA. And self weight. Now let's open Visual Slope. Now the file selection page appears. In this page you can either select an existing project or a new project. We select a new project. Then we click the OK button. This is the project setting page. In this page we can set the project titles, choose the unit for lens and unit for force to use. After that, we set the range of analysis from left to right, from top to bottom. Once the bait asset we click the OK button. If you want edit this page, you can always come back. This is the main page of Visual Slope. To learn how to set up a model for analysis please watch Visual Slope modeling video. Now let's set up the material property first. In this project the materials we will use include soil which is softer rock, and tunnel lining segment. Limit the material property button, the material set up a page appears, from which we choose soil material first. Since there is no material for soil set up yet, we choose new. The soil property setup page appears. In this page we type in the soil name, the unit weight and the saturated unit weight. Cohesion and the friction angle are not necessary for this project. We go to the advanced parameter page to set up the elastic modulus and the Poisson's ratio. After finishing, we click the close button. Now soft rock is shown in the soil list. Now let's set up the material property for tunnel lining segments. Choose beam and pile. The beam and pile property page appears, in which type in the required data. After finishing, click the close button. The segment now is in the list. Now we can close the material setup page. The materials where appear in the material tray. Now let's set up the model. Set up the ground first.
Choose Geo Line. Type X and Y coordinate for the start point separated with a space. And then hit Enter. Use the same way to set the end point. To quit drawing, click the right button of the mouse. Use the quick boundary option to set up boundary condition. Assign material property to the ground. Now let's set up the tunnel lining. Click the generator button and choose tunnel lining generator. The tunnel lining generator page appears. In this page different shapes of tunnel lining can be generated. We choose the circular shape. For a circular tunnel, we need to input the coordinates for the center of the tunnel and the radius of the tunnel. We should also input the length of the segment in the longitudinal direction. For the stable of calculation we must choose tangential spring option for a circular tunnel. Select the tunnel lining material and then click the view diagram button to view the tunnel lining. In this lining the hinge effect of the segments is not considered. To consider the hinge fact click the TBM option. The hinge input page appears. In this table, we need input the angle of each joint from the top vertical line. Check the hinge option and specify the hinge stiffness. The first joint is at 11.25 degree from the vertical line. Select the hinge option and specify the stiffness of the hinge. The stiffness of the hinge varies from 0 to 1. 0 means it is a perfect hinge and there will be no bending moment at that point, 1 means there's no hinge. We choose hinge stiffness equal to 0.5. The second joint is located at 11.25 plus 67.5 degree which is 78.75 degree. Select the hinge option and specify the stiffness of the hinge. Continue to set up the rest of joints. After finishing, we can view the diagram again. Now the model includes the joints. Now let's start to set up loads. Grouting pressure first. Click the grouting pressure button, the grouting pressure input page appears. The location of the grounding is specified by the starting angle and ending angle from the top vertical line. If the pressure is towards the tunnel then it is negative. The first grouting position is at the top. The start point is 0 degree and the ending point is 5 degree. The pressure is negative 200 kPa. The second grouting point is at the spring line on the right which is from 85 degree to 95 degree.
in this way to set up all grouting points. Set up the hydraulic pressure in the hydraulic pressure box. If the pressure is towards the tunnel it is negative, otherwise it is positive. We can set up the vertical pressure by clicking the vertical pressure button. The vertical pressure input box will appear. In the input box, you can set up up to four types of vertical pressure. Provide the name of the pressure, the magnitudes of the pressure at two edges, and the distances from the edges. If A and B are set to zero leave for blank this means the pressure acting on the full width. Use the similar way to set up the horizontal pressure. Once we have set up the each individual load, we can establish the load combinations, by clicking the load combination button. The load combination setup page appears. In this page you can set up up to four types of load combinations. The first combination includes self-weight and grouting pressure. The second combination includes the self-weight and the vertical pressure. Use the similar way to set up the rest of load combinations. After finishing close the box. Now we have completed modeling for the tunnel lining and the load conditions. We can close the generator. Now we're ready for analysis. Click the analysis button. The analysis page where appear. In this analysis we choose including ground option. Which allows us not only to calculate the internal forces in the tunnel lining but also to calculate the ground deformation and the stresses. Mesh will automatically be generated and the initial stress of the ground will also be calculated. It will take a while for calculation. The initial grounded information will be ignored in the following calculations. The ground deformation can also include contractual deformation. Which is the deformation prior to the tunnel lining deformation. Now let's analyze the tunnel lining under the different load combinations. There are several different ways to calculate a circular tunnel, we choose FEM analysis. Zoom in to make the diagram clear. This is the lining deformation under the grouting pressure. This is the bending moment under the load combination too. And deformation. This is the bending moment, and deformation under the load combination 3. And then load combination 4.
Now let's see the ground conditions under the load combination too. In this case the ground movement is mainly due to the contractual deformation. Let's zoom out to see the ground movement. This is the ground settlement due to tunneling. Draw a line to fetch the data. The ground shear stress. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.